get down to some arrows and then I'll jump back into the chat. So the first one we're going to talk about is uh, the phenomena one. Well, this is like that arrow synapse kind of like, uh, what do they call it? Almost like a collab uh, where basically synapse put it out, but like arrow put it in the same kind of the box with the 4K and the book. So this is a real cool one. Um, I know Aaron Fry's in here, so he's a real big Argento fan. And, you know, I like Argento, but I haven't dug really deep into his stuff. Uh, I have like all of his stuff on DVD, but like, as we were kind of talking about, it, I realized a lot of the stuff I had was like still wrapped. So, which means I probably never checked it out. This one, of course I have checked out and I love this one a lot. So what I decided to do to really get uh, deep dive into a little more Argento stuff is to really try to collect the Argento uh, arrow boxes because it seems like they're putting out most of his stuff. So uh, I thought that would have been really cool. And speaking of him, I almost met him back in the day at Monster Mania and um, I passed on it. Like the line was really long and then I was like, oh, I'll get him tomorrow. And then he went home early and I really regret that because I had a Suspiria poster on me that I wanted to get signed and I like waited too long and I missed it. And it's, he's like very hard, I guess, to, to meet nowadays. So, uh, but yeah, Phenomena was the first one I grabbed um, from that Synapse collab. I know they have uh, Tenebrae coming out. I have it pre-ordered. It's kind of in a similar box slash thing like that. So that's really cool. Speaking of that one, the other one I've got, but I haven't even opened it yet. Deep Red. I've seen this one before. I have this uh, Anchor Bay big box. I had the Blu-ray of this from Blue Underground. So I have seen Deep Red. Love Deep Red, but again, I needed it because I wanted to collect all these 4K boxes uh, from Argento stuff from Arrow. And then speaking of the same lines, the same thing. I haven't opened it yet, but I do have this on DVD, and I love this one as well. Girl with the uh, bird with the crystal is. I always said plumage, but I guess it's plumage. Um, I it's a great movie, guys. Very very cool. Um, you know, Giallo type slasher kind of. Uh, but I haven't opened this one yet. Uh, I can't wait to check it out. The DVD quality actually looked really nice. So this should only look even better. Um, I think I have the DVD from blue underground. Uh, and then the next one is cat nine tails. Um, did I, I think I watched this when I got it, I believe, uh, same thing, big box UHD. I think I watched this. I think this was one of the ones that, I was still sealed in my DVD collection from back in the day from uh, Anchor Bay. Uh, let me think. I did watch this, I think, when I got it. I'm just trying to think which one it was. I always get this one confused with uh, Black Cat, but not the Black Cat. There's two Black Cats. One of them is like the one in the... Is it Two Evil Eyes has like a Black Cat story from Argeno? I always get that confused with this one because I, I watched them both. Um, so those are the big ones. I think the Argento ones that I have. And then, um, I do have 12 monkeys. Haven't had a chance to check this 4k out yet. Um, I haven't seen this movie in many, many years. I think I saw it in theaters. Uh, again, this is another one. I always get confused with pie for whatever reason. Uh, this came out, let me see, was it mid nineties? I believe I was in, yeah, 95. So I think I probably did catch this in, in, uh, the theaters. Um, yeah, Brad Pitt, but it's been a long time since I've seen 12 monkeys. So I haven't got into this one yet, but I'm hoping to, uh, break into it soon. It's cool that arrows putting a lot of these titles out. Um, this one's a cool one, guys. I love it. Girls night out super cheesy, but I really like these like obscure slashers that they're doing. Um, I want to do another video coming up soon. Like some of my favorite arrow videos, arrow video, uh, additions that you need to own and a lot of these would be in there like this is a real cool 80s slasher i had this thing on dvd and man watching this for the first time in the quality it, it's just almost like watching the movie for the first time uh definitely one i'd check out i mean it talk about one of the most random killers ever right so girls night out is definitely one i would check out from them uh cool slip on this as well uh here's another underrated i mean uh i'm gonna say underrated more like low budget. I guess it's a slasher. I haven't watched this one yet. I've had it for a while. Um, that was Trapped Alive. I don't know much about this one. I, I was going after a lot of these like obscure slashers. And uh, this was one that I didn't own. 
So I picked it up. Um, let's see what this other one says. Yeah, I haven't watched it yet, guys. Let me know what you guys think about Trapped Alive. I haven't had a chance to put this one in yet. I never owned it on any other format, so it was definitely something that uh, that I wanted to pick up. So, uh, yeah, Trapped Alive from Arrow Video. Uh, another 80s um, movie that I would say it's a slasher, I believe. I don't know if I've ever seen this one. The Prey? I didn't own this on any other format. I think this was only a VHS, and then it came to Blu-ray. So I have not watched this one either, but it was one that I definitely wanted because, like I said, I really like when they put out these more obscure slasher movies. And that's going to kind of be what you're going to get with Hell Knight, which I'll talk about in my review. So uh, same idea, man. It's like uh, very underrated 80s kind of slashers. Uh, Initiation of Sarah got this one. Uh, Tom Holland. I love all of Tom Holland stuff. So it was like a made for TV movie. Really cool. I, in my opinion, I mean, it, you got to remember it's made for TV. I really just like that style. Um, I did a review on Monday morning from MVD and it was the same thing. It was like a made for TV movie, but I love that kind of stuff. Um, some good quality stuff came out um, back then on, on television. So a uh, really, really cool. Uh, here's one that I got actually on recommendation from Christian, uh, I have never seen it. I never owned it. I remember when this came out, it being kind of a big deal, uh, especially because Bram Stoker's Dracula was really big at the time. And it was Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Um, I got the 4K. I haven't dove into this one yet, uh, but Christian's really a big fan of it. And he told me I needed to get it. So um, that's Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. And uh, yeah, I haven't watched it yet. Let me know. I, I know there's mixed opinions on this one. Uh, some people love it. Some people hate it. Uh, I'm not sure what to think yet, but yeah, we move some of these off the table. And uh, this next one I got, um, I love this movie. Uh, I was actually, I can understand if people don't care about this movie at all. Uh, my uncle has a specific taste in horror. Uh, he's a big horror fan, but he likes like a certain kind of movie. And this is one that he's like, always was like a favorite of his. So he made me watch this a lot. Uh, when I was really getting into horror and I had to grab the Blu-ray and that's Mark of the Devil. Um, you know, this is a pretty, it's a pretty cool movie, but I understand it's not going to be for everybody. Uh, it's about like witches, like witch trials and stuff. So um, I had this on, I believe Anchor Bay, Blue, then Blue Underground did it. And then I grabbed this one. Um, like I said, he's a huge fan of this. So every time this came out, he was like, you got to get, you got to get it. Um, so I haven't actually watched this edition yet, um, just the DVD. So it's been quite a while since I've seen this movie. So I'm kind of looking forward to go back and checking it out and see what there's a lot of special features on here. So um, I can definitely dive into those. So let me know if you guys are a fan of Mark of the Devil or not. Uh, this one I haven't checked out yet. And it's uh, I had this. Uh, did I own this on DVD? Yes, I did. It was an Anchor Bay title. And it's shock. Um, so Mario Bava. And it's also known as. Um, what's the other title? It's a part two of. Um, oh, my God. Be oh, beyond uh, beyond the door Two. I think this is like the sequel unofficial sequel for beyond the door Two. Uh, let me see if there's alternate cover right here. No, I thought maybe it had an alternate slip. Maybe it was like a an exclusive on the website i could be wrong though but that's shock um again it's been a real long time since i've seen this one um so i'm kind of looking forward to checking this one out again as you see i have so many titles that i just haven't been able to dive into um and speaking of like those slashers deadly games um this was okay i did watch this one it was all right um you know it's kind of like that 80s slasher like i said uh but it was kind of mixed with other things on this one. I don't know. I'm going to say like it was decent. Um, it wasn't as kind of fun as like a normal like 80 slasher would have been. But uh, it's cool that they brought this out. Deadly Games. I never owned this otherwise. Uh, I did do a review on this one. Uh, if you guys want to go check out my my bigger deep dive, Wild Things. A great addition. It's one of my favorite hour releases of the year. I love when they take movies like 
a little bit different than what they normally do and give them like this huge box treatment. I really like that. So wild things uh, is the big one from arrow that I did review on. And uh, the next one is a new one called the righteous. And I've never seen it. And it's actually a newer movie. I believe um, I watched the trailer and it looked pretty damn good. Um, let me try to see when this came out. Um, yeah, 2020, this came out the righteous check out the trailer for this one. Um, it looks really good. I haven't had a chance to dive into it yet, but I'm going to, uh, because it looked really creepy. Um, so I'm really interested to see this thing. The righteous, it just came out from arrow. So definitely go, uh, take a look online on, uh, on YouTube at the trailer and see if it's something that you think is up your alley. Uh, we talked about this one on the stream last time, Edge of Sanity. Cool movie. Um, Anthony Perkins. So if you missed out on the Screen Factory one, they just re-released this. It just came out, and you probably can get this 50% off at uh, Barnes & Noble. So Edge of Sanity is really, really cool. Um, I know Ken from Mid-Level Media like, really liked this one a lot. Uh, I'm going to say it's a cool movie, man. And Anthony Perkins always brings it. Always. So uh, I would definitely go maybe snag this one at that Barnes & Noble sale. Now, there's one more I want to showcase. Um, I already did a big review and unboxing of the original 4K that came out um, a couple months ago of this movie. And then this one just came out um, in a steelbook format for like a deluxe edition. So uh, I wasn't going to do a review on it again, I don't think. So what I'll do is I'll do like a full unboxing and showcase now because in the review I did before for this movie, I already told you my thoughts on it. I'll put it this way. It's it's a fantastic movie. I've loved this movie forever. I think the characters are great here. And that's True Romance. And uh, Arrow completely knocked it on the park with this release. Not only this release, but the other one. The artwork is just as cool on it. So uh, I haven't opened this version yet. I almost got the steel book inside. So I'll do that right now, and then I'll jump right in back into the chat. So if you guys give me a second here, I'll go through a little unboxing of exactly what you're getting in this set. So everything that you get in the other edition pretty much comes in here, I think, with just different packaging. Um, so again, you've got that different artwork here. So you get that different artwork. The other artwork's awesome. This is really cool, too. Um, but what's nice about this one is you've got this beautiful steel of Alabama. I mean, what an awesome image that is. This looks so good. And I know you can just get this steel book, I think, by itself. And man, this is so nice. And then you got the back. Like, check this out. How killer is that? Man, like, it's so nice. I think this steel book is just fantastic. Like, I love this image here. Love it. And I loved this character. I love Patricia Arquette. Like, big, big fan of hers. Um, man, so cool. Uh, and then you get the double discs inside. And then you get all the lobby cards again. Like, the little, like, postcards. Like, the little artwork that you get um, in the other edition as well. So, you get all those. And then it comes with a little uh, postcard for the hotel that they stayed at. And then you get the little small little movie poster there like they always do. And then you get a little sticker slash tattoo. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting a blur here. I don't know what, what the heck is going on. This ring light. This ring light's a little bright. But uh, yeah, you guys get it. I mean, it's it's kind of stuff you do get in Arrow with they fit inside the steel book. But man, just the steel book alone is just so cool if you don't have this already. And then what's nice is you can just pop it right into this thing as well. It comes with a booklet. It comes with a bigger poster. Then you get the booklet here, original cover art. This is a real nice image here. I love that image. Look at that. So awesome. Like I said, Alabama is amazing in this. I mean, what about all-star cast in this movie? So good, man. You got like Slater, Arquette, Dennis Hopper, Kilmer, Gary Oldman, Brad Pitt, Walken. I mean, it's just on and on endless amount of cool characters here so like i said it's really cool you get that deluxe box with the steel book inside boom so yeah that was the last one i wanted to showcase kind of do a little unboxing so arrow's really putting out some great stuff like 
they were my top number one pick last year for best boutique label and it's hard to beat them right now. Oh.